I'll say never. Most of the time, it's not going to be perfect, even when you want everything to align, right? That's what I've really noticed. Like, oftentimes, I'll be like, all right, once I get this, this, and this, then I'll be able to start this project. And then as soon as I get those three things, it still won't be perfect. And the cool thing about hopping right into the water, even though you may not be ready, if you can make things shake with two of the three things, one of the three things, none of the things that you actually need and you actually make something shake, you're going to gain a learning experience. You're going to gain more confidence. And the reason you're gonna gain more confidence is because you have repetition. You need repetition doing what you want to do. Sir, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Millionaire Mansion Podcast. My name is James Hodge Green, and I'm the owner of the Millionaire Mat Club. And at the Millionaire Mat Club, we believe millionaire is defined by your mindset, not monetary status. And we're tapping into our consciousness to tap into our unlimited potential, man. I hope you guys are doing exquisite. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, I'm recording this today on Thanksgiving. So first, I want to I want to give gratitude to whoever's listening, whoever's not listening. I want to give gratitude to God. I'm just so grateful for the platform that I've been able to build to touch people's lives because that's honestly my biggest goal with the Millionaire Mac Club. Here comes Kirby. Look, a cat. Kirby. Kirby. All right, Kirby, you got to go, buddy. Um, sorry for that distraction. Any cat people that don't like cats, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a dog person, but it's Austin's cat. You know the vibes. Um, but back to what I was saying, I'm so grateful for you all. I'm grateful for this platform. I'm grateful to be able to touch lives because that's all I truly want to do. I want to, I want you to realize how great you are. You feel me? Because everybody always needs that reassurance, but bottom line, None of that matters if you don't believe in you, right? So today, uh, today will probably be just like a short little episode. I just wanted to hop on, chop it up with y'all. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that has been helping me progress so much recently. And it's such a simple truth. It's, it's the truth of you have to take action. You have to take action. Don't sit Don't sit on your dreams. Don't sit on your ideas. Don't wait for things to perfectly be lined up. I was watching uh, this training video and this guy, he said, don't be perfect. Just be present. And, you know, ah, get off me. Get off me. Sorry again. Don't be perfect. Just be present. And what that means is, you know, Oftentimes we'll wait, oh, I need this, I need this, I need the camera, I need the perfect lighting, I need a uh, backup, this, that, and the third. But oftentimes a job, a job attempted is better than a job not attempted most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know there's a better quote for that, but I couldn't think of it right on the spot. But It's never going to, no, I won't say never. Most of the time, it's not going to be perfect even when you want everything to align, right? That's what I've really noticed. Like, oftentimes, I'll be like, all right, once I get this, this, and this, then I'll be able to start this project. And then as soon as I get those three things, it still won't be perfect. And the cool thing about hopping right into the water, even though you may not be ready, If you can make things shake with two of the three things, one of the three things, none of the things that you actually need and you actually make something shake, you're going to gain a learning experience. You're going to gain more confidence. And the reason you're going to gain more confidence is because you have repetition. You need repetition doing what you want to do. That's what builds confidence. That's what builds success is repetition, right? It's, oh my God. This man is being a menace. This man's being a menace. Kirby, stop, bro. 
Ah, I can't have him in here while I'm trying to record, trying to record, trying to inspire somebody. And this man's distracting me. But back to what I'm saying, it doesn't have to be perfect. You feel me? This is a perfect example. Like, I could cut this off, restart the video, but no, like, my purpose is to serve my purpose of this video is to serve is to help you realize that you don't need to be perfect so this is this wasn't even set up but this man is over here running around distracting me jumping on me la 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 and it's not my typical circumstances but you guys are going to feel what i'm saying and not really remember the the unprofessionalism within this video well hopefully not but even if you are even if you remember the unprofessionalism, then that's fine. Then you're focused on the wrong thing. The right people will notice the best things about the project that you're working on. You're going to attract the right people. You feel me? Um, so, yeah. And the next thing that's been helping me progress so much is discipline. Discipline. That's what I'm really... I've heard it. I've heard it just coming up in sports and always wanting to be successful. Like, oh, you need to discipline yourself, this, that, and third. That is the truth. That is the truth. If you want to do anything, you just need to figure out what disciplines does it take to excel in whatever you want to do, right? If you want to be better, if you want to start earning more money, if you want to be in better relationships, then figure out how you can be more disciplined with those things. And realize, I've said this on a pod before, the way you drive your car is the way you wash your dishes. Realize that all of those things go together, right? So so just start with the simple things that you can control, like keeping your space clean, right? Uh, not procrastinating things like washing your dishes. Kirby, bro, what are you doing? This man is like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Uh... And a lot of the times, a lot of the times we'll catch ourselves self-sabotaging because do you know how many times we've lied to ourselves? Okay, like this is, an, it, this is an example. All right, bet. I'll start on Monday. Monday comes and you don't start. Okay, I'll start on Tuesday. Tuesday comes and you don't start. And then as soon as you want to achieve a big goal, as soon as you want to achieve a big goal, and it's something that you can do. It's something that's not too far-fetched, but you don't end up doing it because your subconscious mind doesn't believe you because you've been telling yourself, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, but you never actually follow through with it. So then think about think about somebody, think about a friend that will be like, all right, I'll be ready at seven, and they're never ready at seven. Okay, bet. Um... I'll pay you back, but they never pay you back. You're not going to trust that person. You may still love that person, but you're not going to trust them. We have the same relationship with ourselves, right? We need to remember that. And more importantly, that the, uh, the relationship with yourself is more important than any relationship that you can have with anybody because you're the common denominator in anything you want to do, right? So... You know, become more disciplined. That's what I want you to work on. That's something that you can control right now, right after you get done listening to this podcast. Just think of three simple things that you can control and become more disciplined and just add add little disciplines, little disciplines, little disciplines. And then all of a sudden you won't even recognize yourself. Then all of a sudden you'll be accomplishing things that you've been wanting to accomplish with ease, with ease. It's, all it is is discipline. I promise you, I promise you, but that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have been loving the guests that I've been bringing on. I've been loving it. I love having the podcast. One, when I get to do the episodes by myself, I'm literally, everything that I'm like talking about is something that I'm going through or learning, right? That's the cool thing. I won't, I won't hop on, tell you guys to become more disciplined, this, that, and third, when I'm not working on my discipline, you know? So it's cool to use this kind of as like a verbal journal and help somebody that's going through something I'm going through also and just give perspective. And then on the flip side, having the guest, literally having a platform to bring somebody on to come teach us, come tell their story. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. So in the comments, let me know who y'all want to come on the show next. 
and make sure you subscribe subscribe and share 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 the platform if you find anything insightful anything motivating you feel me and also look i know i've been saying the seven and seven reset is coming out soon right i've been sitting on that idea right but no, 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 no. For no longer, I'm going to sit on the idea. I'm editing the, I'm putting the finishing touches on it. I'm wrapping it all up with a bow. And I just added more to the idea. Since I haven't got it to you guys yet, I need to serve and give you more value. So be ready for that. We got a mastermind, a self-improvement mastermind that's going to help you achieve your goals, become a better you coming out real soon. So stay tuned for that. I promise, I promise, I promise. I promise it's coming soon. But I'm so grateful for y'all. Whenever you're seeing this, even if it's not Thanksgiving, go show your thanks. Show gratitude every single day. That's the key to success is gratitude, right? You'll never be able to, to feel fulfilled if you don't appreciate what you already have. And you'll never receive more. Well, you will receive more, but then you'll just neglect that. So make sure you're showing gratitude every single day. Go tell somebody you love them. Go tell somebody that poured into you. Thank you. You feel me? I'm about to get in a whole another tandem, but I'm going to keep this short. But like my grandma said, man, keep going and keep growing. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs>